A rocket lifts off the ground with an acceleration of 25 meters per second squared. At a time, three seconds later, all of the fuel runs out. Our job is to figure out the maximum height that this rocket goes once all of the fuel is out. Let's break this up into two time intervals. The first time interval is when the rocket still has fuel and is accelerating. And then the second is when the rocket runs out of fuel and then ascends to its maximum height. So let's get started. Velocity one for the rocket is zero meters per second. Velocity two is a question mark. Acceleration will be 25 meters per second squared. Time will be the 3.0 seconds. And displacement will be a question mark. Now looking at this, we will need to find velocity two because we'll need that for the second half of the question. That'll be the beginning velocity when the rocket fuel is out. So we know we'll need to figure that one out. Now we also need displacement because we need to know the total maximum height, including the part when it did accelerate with the rocket fuel. So we'll start off, let's just find our velocity two. Velocity two is equal to zero plus 25 times 3.0. That'll give us a velocity two equal to 75 meters per second. Now what about finding displacement? Well, we have a variety of ways we can find displacement here. Well, let's just use the V2 squared equation. So 75 squared is equal to 0 squared plus 2 times 25 times D. Okay. Let me find out displacement is equal to 113 meters. Okay, now we go to the second half of the question. The rocket fuel is spent. Now we're under free fall. So velocity 1 is going to equal the 75 meters per second. Again, we get that from the velocity 2 from the previous part. At max height, velocity 2 does equal 0 meters per second. Acceleration, minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Time, not something we know. Put a question mark. And displacement, question mark. And that's what we're trying to find. So we will not need time. So we'll just gently cross that off. And one more time, use the V2 squared equation. V2 squared, okay, equals V1 squared plus 2AD. This time, 0 squared is equal to 75 squared plus 2 times negative 9.8 times D. And this time, displacement comes out to be 287 meters. Now what about displacement total or max height? Well, we just need to add these two together and that'll be 400 meters. I'll write that over here, 400 meters. And I'll put a line over this zero indicating its significance.